You know, when it comes to avoiding sugar, it's easier said than done because let's face it, sugar is in more things than we actually expect it to be. So let's take a look at a few kitchen staples that have more sugar than you bargained for. If you are trying to lose those pounds before summer, well, cutting your sugar intake should be the first step. This morning, we look at a few of your favorite food items that is making your sweet tooth ask for more. First up, peanut butter. It may be your go-to when you need a sandwich on the go or when you need a push of protein post-workout. But surprisingly, many jars of peanut butter contain a significant amount of sugar, especially when it's flavored with honey, cinnamon, and even chocolate. Barbecue sauce. Who would have thought that adding a simple marinade to your chicken could cause your dinner to become as sugar-filled as your dessert? Don't let words like sweet and honey just sneak right by. Just two tablespoons of this barbecue sauce contains 15 grams of sugar. Up next, green tea. Green tea may be our favorite when it comes to a metabolism boosting beverage, but not when it's bottled. All of the added sugars cancel out every benefit this tea has to offer. Not to mention, antioxidant levels of bottled beverages have been measured to be considerably less than in freshly brewed cup. Instead, go for your own cup brewed at home to get the tummy tightening benefits. Breakfast Bars If you purchased breakfast bar, you were just catfished into thinking this bar would do the job to fuel your most important meal of the day. In fact, many oat-based bars like sugar as the first or second ingredient. Not only are these bars typically lacking in nutrients like fiber and protein, but certain brands will trick you into thinking they have a lot less sugar than they do. And finally, salad dressing. You've seen it before and you'll see it again. Bottled salad dressings are a diet destroyer. When trying to stay slim, choosing a dressing that's marketed to fat-free or light is a classic rookie mistake. In order to make up for the loss of flavor provided by fat companies, pack the bottles with chemicals, sodium, and of course, sugar. Whether it's ketchup-based like Russian and Thousand Island, a fruit vinaigrette like raspberry, you're getting more sugar than you would in a flat, belly-friendly dessert. Maybe it's time to redo that shopping list so you can add more healthy food items that will not give you that sugar rush. Well, knowledge really is power. So those were a few items you probably didn't expect sugar to be in. But when it comes to dessert, sugar is a stable, right? Well, not for some of the options from Libby's Goodies. The founder, Nicole Levy, doesn't believe that cutting up sugar should mean not satisfying your sweet tooth. And so now we join her. Hey, good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Dahlia. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your introduction to baking, because um, from what I've heard, it started out when you were just a, a child. Yes, I have memories of baking with my dad, baking with my mom. Um, Sundays, you know, you get to grease the little the little um, glass bowls and stuff for cupcakes and cake. Yes. And of course you get the spoon. So I, I remember as far back as probably grade four, grade five. Wow. <laughs> so it started off then and then, and, and then by high school, you kind of turned into a business, right? How did that develop? Yes. So I'm not at high school anymore, so I can bust my secrets. <laughs> But um, yeah, I used to sell. I used to sell like muffins and stuff. What I used to do was buy from Price Mart when I was in sixth form, and then I was like, "This is cutting into my profit." So of course, I started baking uh -huh. and selling to students and teachers. Wow! And then you know, I got a I got a feel for it. Mm -hmm. So by university. That was my go-to for extra money. Wow. Oh, you want some brownies? I'll make it for you. This is the cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Lo I tell you, you know, when, when young people know their purpose, you know, and if you just support them, they will make their way through. And I think as a young child, you knew mm. this was your purpose. Uh, and so not just because it was a part of a family activity, you had um, a, a gluten allergy. Explain that to me. Okay, so I... Was so excited. I just got a store, 
Um, so every day, the easiest thing that I could order for me and the girls was pizza. Okay. So I just ordered pizza every day, but gluten is actually added to the pizza dough. So, you know, I felt less tired and everything. So I just thought I was being overworked. So, you know, I'm just tired. Fast forward to probably a year of that. Um, I had a baking competition and I had to go to the hospital. Wow. And one of the doctors there was like, you know, you should consider cutting gluten out of your diet. And I didn't know what gluten was. Yeah. So I was like, what do you mean? You know, when I found out that it basically meant no bread, mm-hmm. no ketchup, no cake, <laughs> no dumpling, nothing. What? What? <laughs> and I was like, no, this can't be my life. <laughs> <laughs> but but you did something great. And, and, and what you did was you, you went and sought more knowledge and expertise because of that. You didn't just say, oh, my God, yes. that's my life. I can't eat the things I love. You went and did gastronomy, and, and that kind of guides what you do now. Right. Yeah. So with the gluten allergy, it led to me, you know, kind of digging deeper into this whole gastronomy thing and into nutrition. Mm-hmm. My dad, who's diabetic, always wants cake, you know, and I was like, no, but you can't have sugar. So I figured if I can work around gluten-free, because I say I'm not supposed to have wheat or flour, mm-hmm. and I found a workaround. I must can find a workaround for diabetics for sugar-free stuff, and that's how I started doing sugar-free. Wow! One of the things people think is sugar-free means it not tastes good, Nicole. Like it's a sugar-free, yes. a sugar-free pastry that can't taste good. But 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 you found a way to to ensure it still fills the sweet tooth need, but it's not right. not sugary. It's not, okay, so what it does, so basically what my aim is to do for diabetics is not to have them have a sugar spike um, in their blood. Okay. Um, a blood sugar spike. Mm-hmm. So we use alternatives. So we do use like date sugar, coconut sugar. Um, we use stevia, agave. Uh, we use natural, sweet, natural sweeteners to like prunes, bananas, um, mangoes if you want to be, you know, kind of little you know, experimental and stuff. Right. So we do use sugar substitutes, but we don't use cane sugar. Uh-huh. And that, that's what means that blood sugar spike. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't use Splenda and we don't use honey for diabetics. But if you're not diabetic and you want to just kind of cut down on sugar, that's also an option. That's an option. We're looking at some of the things yeah. that you made um, this morning. I'm, I'm telling you, on the surface... Them look very sweet to me. Like if you didn't tell me no sugar, I wouldn't believe you. Um, and what are some of the mixtures that we're seeing? I'm seeing cupcakes. Um, tell me some of what I'm seeing here. Okay, so I did some mini parfaits, mm-hmm. regular parfaits, cupcakes, and a banana bread. Ah. A mini banana. Um, so for icing substitute, we use cream cheese uh, mixed with a little bit of liquid agave, mm-hmm. and we use um, date sugar, coconut sugar. Mm-hmm. Um, for the banana I, for the banana bread, I usually just straight banana bread, just straight banana, sorry, mm-hmm. and a little, 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 little soup of stevia. Mm-hmm. So it does look pretty because, of course, you know, pre- with food, presentation is key. Yes. You and- can't look you know, boring and everything because the flavors aren't boring. Especially so, pastry, especially pastry. It often look, it often look sweet. It often look sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so I like, I like, I like because you know it, it, it feeds the sensory. You know, everything right is yeah, connected. Yeah. All factory, also everything. Yes, yes. I love it, Nicole. I mean, and, and how have your customers been responding to it? Well, we usually get persons our own length time when they want to cut out sugar and chocolate. Okay. Um, we do get diabetes. Mm-hmm. Some persons are referred to us, um, having tried it themselves, mm-hmm. and like, oh, you know, you can, you know, word of mouth is very big for us. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to expand options. Mm-hmm. This is not something that is new because it's very it's very widely done in the states and Canada and the UK. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to put a Jamaican 
feel to it. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. We do sugar-free cakes as well mm-hmm. and sugar-free Easter buns. We just done Easter. We did sugar-free Easter buns. What? No. Yeah. No, no, no. I got I'm going to sample all of them. <laughs> for, no, folks, for folks who are watching and they want to find you, where, where do they find you? Well, they can go to our website, which is leaveisgoodies.com. Mm-hmm. We are operating in Patrick City at the moment, mm-hmm. um, but we were on in this road. Not anymore. You was not me since about... COVID. Yes, we were. <laughs> Literally, like a stone's throw. Um, but since this whole COVID thing and everything, you know, we're going to be in Patrick City for a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and you can also call us as well. Our number is 876-788-3100. All right, guys, listen, if you, if you want to continue to, to address that sweet craving without the unhealthiness of the sweetness, <laughs> still the taste, make sure you reach out to Levy's Goodies. Nicole, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, a journey, eh? Can never tell what a journey is, and your personal journey has brought you to this kind of public success. And so kudos to you. I love Jamaican companies. And especially female Thank entrepreneurs. <laughs> Founder of Levy is good is Nicole Levy. Levy, did, uh, we're going to eat them here, right, Nicole? Let me not come back. Yes. Okay, hi. Please do. Please do right. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. <laughs> Rollout is up next, guys. <laughs> we're so good. Fun.